In this 10 minute video of Glad to Teach, we will be learning how to easily solve simultaneous equations like these. So my question to you is, can you solve these simultaneous equations? And yes, you read it right in 10 seconds. That means you have to tell me the value of both x and y in 10 seconds. So can you? You surely can. Once you know this, powerful easy cal trick. Your time starts now. Your time is up. So could you find the value of x and y? All right, so now let me do it. x equal to 36 minus 34. That is 2 divided by 15 minus 14. That is 1. So x is equal to 2. See, so easily I got the value of x. Now putting this value of x in this equation, we get 5, 2 times is 10. 12 minus 10 is 2 and 2 divided by this 2 is 1 so y equal to 1 question solved x is equal to 2 y is equal to 1 so now let me teach you this very powerful easy cal trick to directly solve simultaneous equations now to find the value of x what we do we choose this 3 that is the middle coefficient of the first equation as the starting point and then we do cross multiplication that is multiply this 3 with this 12 and subtract from it what we get on multiplying this 2 with this 17 as simple as that so 3 12 times is 36 minus 2 17 times is 34 and we get our numerator that is the top part of the fraction so now let's find the denominator as well so once again using this 3 as the starting point cross multiply this side as well 3 5 times is 15 minus 2 7 times is 14 now we can easily simplify this 36 minus 34 is 2 and 15 minus 14 is 1 that means x is equal to 2 see it's so simple so have you understood this method we just have to cross multiply twice once on this side and second time on this side and since we are cross multiplying twice therefore this method is called double cross multiplication and once you have value of one variable, finding the value of other variable, it is very easy. All you have to do is put this value of x in any of these two equations. Let's put it in this equation. So 5 2 times is 10. Now 10 plus 2y is equal to 12. This means 2y is equal to 12 minus 10. 12 minus 10 is 2 and 2 divided by this 2 will be 1 so y is equal to 1 so now quickly solve these equations and I'm really sure that this time you don't need more than 10 seconds start your time is up so x is equal to 22 minus 21 is 1 divided by now cross multiply this side as well since there is no coefficient here so that means it must be 1 so 4 minus 3 is 1 so put 1 here 
so that means x is equal to 1 see so easily we have got the value of x now once you have the value of x finding the value of y it is very easy just put this value of x in this equation so 1 times 1 is 1 that means 2y would be equal to 7 minus 1 7 minus 1 is 6 and 6 divided by 2 is 3 that means y is equal to 3 question solved I'll put the step down 2y would be equal to 7 minus 1 that is 6 so that means y would be equal to 6 divided by this 2 that is 3 question solved x is equal to 1 y is equal to 3 so now solve these equations and once again you are getting 10 seconds start your time is up so x is equal to 33 minus 8 is 25 divided by 9 minus 4 is 5 and since 5 5 times is 25 that means x is equal to 5 who said that algebra was difficult it is so easy come on it hardly takes few seconds to solve these equations it can't get easier than that so now let us quickly find the value of y as well put this value of x in this equation 2 5 times is 10 and 10 plus 3y equal to 4 that means 3y would be equal to 4 minus 10 4 minus 10 is minus 6 I'll put down the step 4 minus 10 is minus 6 so that means y would be equal to minus 6 divided by 3 that is minus 2 question solved now the best part is that that once you know these easy cal tricks you get an advantage in mathematics for lifetime a person who does not know this trick can never ever compete with you you will always win hands down in calculation speed so now you can go ahead and impress others with your amazing mathematical ability